Okay YouTubers, excuse the noise. Um, the first thing you've got to do if you're going to change the starter motor is disconnect the battery. But before you do that on modern vans with solar panels you have to check that the battery to battery charger is disconnected because on some modern vans the solar panel charges the start battery as well as the leisure battery so you have to make sure that that's disconnected or switched off before you even disconnect the engine battery otherwise you can cause damage to your solar panel controller so I've got to undo one nut and just pull this terminal out of the way now for safety I always put one of these caps on like that and they come with new batteries and it just stops me from putting on anything on there by mistake apologize if the uh, motor alarm goes off it's not mine it's somebody else's on the storage facility because it's bloody deafening uh, you need a 30 mil socket here and a 30 mil spanner this is for the alternator adjustment for the belt and you need an 11 millimeter deep socket for this and that's what I'm doing I'm not going to show you undoing it because I'm holding the camera and uh, I mentioned the battery make sure the battery is disconnected make sure if you've got a solar controller charger that that's not charging the engine battery as well and uh, yeah yeah it's just be safe not sorry and uh, I've got to undo that one and that one to get the starter motor off well I've put um, some penetrating fluid on but what I've done rather than spray it I've got a small paintbrush and painted it in there on the threads and uh, I think it's worked Oh yeah, look at that. It's not... Oh wow. Thanks Alex. <laughs> Good tip there mate. In fact, I think I can almost... Look, it's, it's moving. I can almost turn it with my fingers. Oh wow, that's the way to do it. Look at that. I think I could turn that with just a socket. Let me just look at that. I could turn it with my hand. Hey! What's that one like? That one's tight. I'll pull it out all the way out and then I can have a look at it. It's nearly out. I'm glad I got that extra socket, this extra deep one. I've ordered some more, like a small socket set. Did it come out? Look at that! Wow! Pretty good! Pretty good. I'll just thread it back in while I undo the other two. I think that'll come out as well. I'll put a bit more oil. And what I'm doing, I say, I've got a small paintbrush. I'm just running some penetrating fluid on the threads. Right, see if you can do that one. Right, let's try that one. Yeah, no trouble. You can see it's out nearly out. Let's try the top one. Let's suck it on. Full on me in a bit. Yeah, that one's going as well. That one's loose. 
I can't hold the camera and do it. What I've got to do is remove this electrical connection here off the alternator. Get this grommet out of the way. And then I should be able to swing. Oh, shit. That's done from the top. Uh, right, okay. I can't. Uh, uh. Oh bugger, that's going to be a bit of an issue. Right, let's come out. Well, that's the starter motor off. I have noticed got a, a different electrical connection here. This is a spade type connection and on the other one it's an eyelet. So I'm going to cut the spade off and put an eyelet on the end of the cable so it fits on the new starter motor. So the electrical connection is gone from one of these flat spade connectors. It's got an eyelet on here. So I'll put an eyelet on the wire there. Now the bolts for fitting the starter motor through the aluminium and through the cast iron. What I'm going to do wire brush them to get any corrosion off and then I'm going to put what's called copper grease on on the whole length so that um, it should stop the metal to metal corrosion and this is copper copper ease I call it and I normally put it on threads and things like that when I'm reassembling things to make it easier to come apart oh, the new starter motors on I've got to do the heat shield um, I've got to actually trim it quite a lot to get that on and uh, of course I forgot to bring my tin snips with me so that's not very good forgot so I can't trim it here so I've got to take the heat shield home trim it again and then bring it back oh what a pain that is 